Hey guys, welcome back. So on today's little project, what we're going to be doing is switching out our toilet. There's nothing wrong with this, but we're looking to update the bathroom and this is the next step. And this is what we're going to be replacing it with. The Kohler Elmbrook in white. It has an elongated bowl. It is chair height at 16 and a half inches. And flush is 1.28 gallons per flush. Included with this is going to be the tank, the bowl, a slow closed seat, a wax ring, and the floor bolts. Now as for what you're going to need, you're going to need a bucket to catch the water, a sponge to help soak up all the water. Now you can use a wax ring or I have this. This is the Fluid Master Better Than Wax Ring. I'll go over that in a minute. You need a couple trash bags, some screwdrivers, a crescent wrench, and a hacksaw. Now to get the water out of the bowl, you have a couple different methods. I find that one of the easiest one is to just bail out as much water with a larger cup as you can. And once this cup no longer works, a Dixie cup that can fit almost completely in the hole. It gets nearly everything out. Once you've gotten that far and it shows us a little bit left in there, you can soak up the rust with a sponge. easier to work. I'm going to pop these off. This is nice because these toilet seats are just one piece removed. Turn the caps and the whole thing pops off. Underneath here, there's a couple of screws and lug nuts. We're going to take these off. Attach the water supply. Make sure you look inside before you try to lift this out. There are two bolts here, but there is a third one in the back securing the tank to the rest of the toilet. I'm gonna put it down on some trash bags in case there's just a little bit of leakage. A little bit of water left in here. I'll try to get some of that out. There will be a little bit of water in the S portion of the tank. There's not much we're gonna be able to do about that. So when we flip it over in our trash bags, I do have some towels there, so in case there is a little bit of leakage. Now we're going to start removing bolts at the bottom. Think it smells disgusting? What, this? This. Yeah. Now we are going to remove the wax ring. Well, I didn't come up the way I wanted it to. So now because we have this giant hole here and I don't want any of this wax to go in here to clog up the toilet, I'm gonna stuff some paper towel in here just so it catches anything that falls in. Use a putty knife, just start scraping all this off and throwing it away. Looks gross. Yeah. Now our kit that we're replacing with has all this hardware, so we're gonna replace it. So this just twists and comes right out. I'll toss that away. So we have all the replacement hardware. Slides out and twists out. And check to make sure there are no cracks, the chipping, everything is still intact. I can't imagine there's gonna be too many problems with the toilet, but I'll knock out wood for that. So once we get that in, we can remove this. Make sure we don't have any other debris that's gone down the drain. Just to clean up a little bit of paint and we're ready to install. Now it does come with its own wax ring, but that's not what we're going to use today. With the Fluid Master, it comes with 
not just the better than wax silicone ring that goes in there if it's above a quarter inch, but it also comes with a riser, something to help cushion it in case you have a sunken hole here, in case this area is actually level or below the floor line. But this looks like this is original flooring, so it is set a quarter inch above. So all we're gonna need is actually the silicone portion here. So for this step, we're gonna reinstall the hardware. We're gonna put the metal piece in and we're gonna secure our plastic washers. Now for when you're ready for install, make sure everything's put to the side. You have a clear path because these things are not light. Gonna lift straight up and slowly lower it directly on your two areas. Now with the toilet comes these caps and then our washers and nuts. So what we're gonna do is put one of these caps in place and that is going to fit our cap on top. So these plastic washers will go in followed by a metal washer, and then we'll fix our screw. Do that on the other side as well. We're gonna hand tighten these, and then we use a crescent wrench, and we are going to tighten it, but we are gonna be very, very careful not to over tighten it, because it will crack the toilet. No wobbles, no movement, that's down tight. As you see, as you look at this, this cap is not gonna fit on here. There's just a little groove, and that's where you're gonna cut, using your hacksaw. Whoa. That should just snap. Well, it comes with a little ring. We're gonna put that directly on here. That's gonna help create a seal when we put the tank on the actual toilet. Unlike a traditional toilet, where they normally have holes in the tank that the uh, bolts go through and affix to the toilet, this actually has a fixture on the outside that the bolts attach to. our washers and nuts that came with it to fix it. We're going to tighten these alternating to make sure that it goes down evenly and smooth without cracking anything or getting too tight. That's attached. I'm going to attach our water supply. And it's too short. I'm going to replace it with something a little bit bigger. Check and seal to make sure we don't have any leakage anywhere. Alright guys, so that is it. So the biggest thing when installing a toilet, one, make sure you have all the tools and everything readily available. One of the things that came up for me is that I did not anticipate that our feed line or our water supply was going to be too short. 
And if you're increasing from a standard toilet to a chair height toilet like what we've done, make sure that you pick up another supply line, something a little bit longer. I ended up picking up a 16 inch and it works out perfectly. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions on what I should do, I'll give you an update later on about how our no wax seal is doing so far. Everything seems to be working out great. So that is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.